everybody this is Michelle Greenman and um, yay new show Michelle Greenman live so this week uh, it might be a little bit short um, I'm still trying to figure out how to use Ustream but I did uh, post an article on the website michellegreenman.com on my alternative to New Year's resolutions so Usually I think New Year's resolutions are pretty popular and most people I think dabble in them a little bit, try to make one or two and I probably did that a lot you know growing up in high school and in university. Recently not so much so this year uh, I was looking at what I could do instead of a New Year's resolution. If you read that article it talks about the fact that New New Year's resolutions don't usually work. Most of the time people um, do one of two things. They pick something <laughs> that um, is really difficult for them to change and they don't really want to change. Um, or they do really want to change but it's still very difficult. And um, number two, they don't change the support systems in their life. So for example, um, people say they're going to, for example, eat healthier, but they don't put any program or plan in place or any um, ideas in place for how they're going to eat better. So they end up not eating any better, being very busy, and giving up their new resolution in the first couple of weeks. So I thought instead of New Year's resolutions, I would call it New Intentions. Um, so I do have a sheet which I'm going to try to link to this page, but if you do go to the post, um, you can download it there at the bottom. It will say download new, new intentions and um, you just click on the link and it should come right on your screen. Um, but it should look like this, new intentions. So I did mine. Um, new intentions, I have five. I, I changed it to three because five was really hard, but three characteristics of the new Michelle. So on here I have, um, which I talked about in the post, I wanted to be a successful businesswoman um, and one of the ways I was going to do this, because that's the problem with the New Year's resolutions, you don't actually think of ways, was to go to the cafe to work once a week so that people could see me and I could talk to them and interact with them more. I'm usually in the house in my office you know, making posts or writing books or um, coaching people over the phone. So I'm usually not out and people don't always see me. So that was one of the things I wanted to do um, and produce more videos, which I'm doing today. Yay! So accomplishing this is a little bit easier when you break it down in these pieces of what would this person be doing. So I uh, watched this video my husband sent me about why we procrastinate, which is also on the site, if you look up procrastinate, I'll actually try to link it to that blog of why we procrastinate, but when we procrastinate, <laughs> um, the video says, we do not think of future me, we think of right now me. So um, when I was in university, I did this law, it's right now me uh, doesn't really want to study. <laughs> right now me has better things to do. So future me is going to want to be studied for this test and be able to do successful. And right now me wants me to do successful on the test, but doesn't want to study right now. So looking at that difference of right now me and future me and how we're going to get the two to cooperate was part of the issue. <laughs> was part of the issue of procrastination. So when you're thinking of future me, what is future me going to be doing? What is future me going to want? Well, future me is going to want to be a successful business owner. I've been putting time and energy into this business, and I'm going to want to be successful. So I started thinking, what are the practices future me would have? Because it's very hard to make a decision based on your situation right now. You need to be making them based on what you're wanting in the future. So in the future, future me is going to want lots of videos that I can point um, perspective or new clients to to answer their questions, um, to give them more information or more service to be able to talk to them and um, to help them. So if that's what future me is going to want, that's something I'm going to write on my list under my 
different ways. So when you download this form, you're going to have the number one with a green line and then three lines to write how this is going to happen. So the another thing that I have is um, mentoring and mentorship. So I did join a mentoring program having somebody mentor me, but I also would like to mentor other um, women who are starting um, to do what they want to do, their goals and achieving them. So that was one of mine. Um, another one that I have is to relax. Um, starting this new business has been really time consuming and I wanted to take more breaks because um, sometimes I have a bad habit of being able to work several hours straight, <laughs> like five hours straight and not take a break. So taking more breaks so I can break things up in my mind and um, take a deep breath and uh, relax uh, in between. Um, the second one I have on here for my relax is go fly a kite or other slow moving activity. <laughs> um, I've, I haven't fl flown a kite since I was like, I don't know, a little kid with my dad. But what I did start was crochet because I do crochet. I really love to crochet. So um, I'm crocheting a infinity scarf. You can see this it's pretty long. An infinity scarf, which is going to be quite a bit thicker. Um, but this is an activity I can take a break from my work and spend some time. It's very slow moving. It's very, um, you know, it's not really intense, but it is something you have to pay attention to. It is something that moves as fast as you kind of do it. So um, that's something that, you know, a relaxed person would do, right? A very, very business busy, stressed business person is not going to stop, take a break to go fly a kite. But a relaxed, um, holistic business person is going to stop and take a break and think about the other things. I also um, was asked by my mom if I was interested in a sewing class. I really always wanted to sew. My mom actually used to sew her own clothes. And I have sewn, sewn a, a few things. Um, but to actually join a class that has a, a, a teacher who's teaching it professionally would be a great opportunity and the first thing I thought is I do not have time I'm starting this new business but you know after thinking about it a while I'm saying well you know what I'm going to need to stop <laughs> um, just going all the time I need to be able to refresh myself so maybe taking this class would give me an opportunity to spend two hours away from the house doing something I love to do I really want to get better at doing and having the opportunity to do that so the last thing on here is water the plants. Um, my grandma Ma, she um, loved her plants, loves her plants, and um, they are her children. But she always watered them and talked to them and looked at them and see if they're healthy or not. And that's another way for me to relax. So, uh, what you want to do is go download this form and write your name at the top. So it will be characteristics of the new, whatever your name is, and then write the. F think of three things that you want. 2012 you to experience, 2012 you to accomplish or to change in their lives and then really take the time to think of different ways that would happen, what that's going to look like, how that gets accomplished. So if you're thinking you want to be healthier, what are three ways that you could be healthier? And it's always great to remember SMART goals that they should be specific and measurable and, and time related um, and relevant to you. So. You know, if you say, I'm going to walk 30 minutes every single day, that would be fantastic. And write that down under it. So when you put this up somewhere, I've had this on the, my um, my sidewall here. But when you put it up somewhere, you can look at it and say, oh, my 30 minute walk. Because even if you do that once, like today, we're going to do my first video. I've accomplished that. I've produced more videos. I had zero. And now I have one. <laughs> so uh, I really encourage you guys to... Not just make a resolution and you know let it fall flat on its face and get face and get depressed or concerned that you're not really doing things right, but really spend the time and think things through and really put some plan and some thought into it that you want to accomplish. This is what 2012 you is going to look like. This is what they're going to act like. This is what they're going to experience. Um, and I mean, I think experiences are great. If you want to experience going somewhere or doing something or saving up for something and buying something, I think that's fantastic too. All of us need different experiences in our lives. Maybe it's to travel and you need to write down three ways that you need to get to that place. So 
I encourage you to do that. Also to um, download the sheet and uh, use it and place it up somewhere that you're going to see it and to um, check out the post which I'm going to have to post to on procrastination and the future you because I really love that post. Um, I think that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it served you well and I hope you really enjoyed the printout and I will hopefully be here next week to talk to you about flu. I'm hoping to actually um, put together um, a medication that I use for cough suppressant. My husband actually ended up with whooping cough a couple years ago, which if you guys have ever experienced it, is horrific. It's really terrible. Um, you keep yourself up at night and you cough so much that people have broken ribs and um, it's, it's it can be really horrible. So this month I'm trying to give you guys a little information on flu and colds and uh, my newest post is on um, flu vaccinations and the huge risk and the very few benefits um, which is a little bit scary when you read it but it's really awesome to get this information and I, I'm, I love the opportunity to be sharing everything that I've been learning um, with everybody because it's amazing it's it's changed my life and I hope that it changes yours as well so feel free to send me questions um, you can post them if you're, if this is on a page like on my YouTube page where there's comments feel free to comment I'll try to answer them and um, if this is on my website feel free to comment I will answer them there and like I say experience wellness you know nobody can tell you how great you're gonna feel after you put some of these things into practice so you need to experience for yourself after you do you might end up like me sharing it with the world so have a fantastic day or evening whenever you're watching this and experience wellness.